One important aspect of human capital is education and we are interested in what determines how much you invest into your education. So we look at the change in land use rights in rural Africa. Uh, so in Ethiopia there was a land certification program. This means that uh, farmers will have their land plots uh, demarked and they will have their rights to the land specified. And these land rights were improved as uh, in comparison to before as well. So they had improved uh, land use rights. And this included the right to pass on the land to your children. So the land certification program, it was introduced in 2002, but it took, because of capacity limitations, it was gradually ruled out to the different villages. So we compared those villages that got the program say 2003 to those who got it 2005-2006. The first thing we find is that school enrollment increases for boys and for girls. And there can be various reasons behind that. One possibility is that now when the household has to, don't have to spend uh, time to defend their land rights, uh, household uh, time is freed up and that can be used for other activities and that includes education then for the children. However, the older sons who will, uh, are more likely to inherit the land, they see their future more uh, at the land. So they have less incentive to educate themselves. And that means that great progress deteriorates for them. So they, don't, they have to repeat grades more often. Takeaway here is that also in rural areas, uh, these land titling programs appear to be mostly beneficial for children. And although we see this effect for the older sons that you might think of as negative, uh, we shouldn't forget that it's still the case that they have now uh, a higher like certainty of actually taking over the land and this is something good for them. Okay, so they do spend a little bit more time at the field and a little bit less time in school perhaps, but it's still probably good for them. So a broader takeaway uh, is that when we look at policy changes that affect education, we shouldn't immediately think that something that appears to have a slightly negative impact on education is automatically bad. Uh, we need to think about, okay, so what's the reason behind that uh, and what are the outside options?